Aloha, and welcome to another episode of Sports Viz. This week we have part two of the Maximum Exposure Experience from Oahu. A few more highlights of our kids at the camp, but more importantly, we hear from UH linebacker coach Kurt Govea, offensive coordinator from Oregon, Scott Frost, the running back coach from Cal, Pierre Ingram, and the quarterback and wide receiver coach from Stanford, Tavita Pritchard. Check it out and enjoy. championship some of us have won a state championship but they've got to go to college and I don't know how many people in this field right now have won a national championship in college and then it, obviously the numbers the metrics kind of dwindles in terms of winning a Super Bowl championship so winning a high school championship at Waianae High School a national championship at BYU Super Bowl championship with the Washington Redskins. He's now coaching for the University of Hawaii. Wine Eyes own Kurt Gouvea. Big hand. Just real quick, man. Appreciate the opportunity. I promise you, I won't talk as long as Baker. Got you. At Oregon State, they talk a lot. Over here, on the football field. You know, we're a lot of action. Okay? Um, just a few things. I'm a product of the island. Born and raised in Hawaii, and I'm proud of it. You should be proud of it too, man. Okay? I am you at this point. You are where I used to be. Dreams, aspirations. Want to go to the NFL. But guess what? Anybody know the statistics? Getting into the NFL. 
less than 1%, gentlemen. Less than 1%, okay? You two stand up. Stand up. Congratulations, you just got drafted in the NFL. All of you, the rest of you, thank you very much. Go find another job. And go support your family. That's how it is. That's how true it is, world. Okay? I've learned it. I've lived it. It's hard. Okay? But I know one thing. Every one of you right here today will have an opportunity to go to college and get that degree. You hear what I said? Less than 1% will make it to the NFL. But I guarantee you, men, every one of you here today will have that opportunity to go to college and earn that degree. Now I've got a personal story to tell you, okay? Coming out of college, I didn't receive my degree after four years at Brigham Young University. I did not receive that degree. I'm going to speed up the story. 14 years later, when the NFL had told me, thank you very much, Kirk Covell, I don't need your services no more. My football career was over, and I could not support my family or find a job. Why? Because I didn't finish, and I didn't have that paper to say I'm educated enough to do what you're doing. Gentlemen, so at age 37, that's what I did. Moral of this story, do it now. Go through the process. Go to see the fresh pain. College life is so good. Be yourself. Be a Jew. Use, use your God gifted talent, which is what, man? Football. Right? Use that God gifted talent. Go to get that free education first and then we start thinking about the NFL or the next level because not all of you and I promise you not all of you will make it to that NFL and I know you have that dream I'm gonna do this I'm gonna be in the NFL okay how many of you here have heard oh you're too small not fast enough not big enough raise your hand a lot of you, right? Guess what? I heard you when I was growing up in my life. Oh, you're too small. Not fast enough. You're not big enough. You can't play football. Okay. <coughs> Every one of you hold your hands up, man. Think about that now. Think about what they said to you. Whoever. The person who said that to me was a close member of my family that told me I'm not going to make it family member. And I made sure, I made sure to eat that shit. You know, eat that shit. <laughs> I made damn sure. I promised to myself I said, I'm going to prove it to this man who's my family member should be supporting me. I'm going to prove it to him that I'm damn good enough to say that anybody in here or in the States and I like what you young men are have. We're special. You guys on the island, we're special, man. But we got the heart, the determination, the dedication to make that. Every one of you should be able to make that go. Make the dreams, make your aspirations come true. Every one of you, you take that chip on your shoulder and you run with it. The opportunity you have today, man, don't squander it. Do not take it for granted. Just because you're tall, big, fat, doesn't mean it's a guarantee that you're gonna get to where you need to get to. Because there's a process that you have to go through first. One is school. 
I've seen numbers of great athletes, man, that doesn't even have an opportunity to go to college because they don't understand that it starts in high school, ninth grade as a freshman. Great. And now you can't make that up if you miss off one of those core classes. Do you understand that? This is great. All this is good. Sugar daddy, yeah, we running on the football field. Yeah, you're showing your talent. But I know, because I've recruited, I've seen your transcripts, some of y'all. I've seen it. I know some of you were not going to qualify to go to college. And that's a damn shame. That hurts me. Because you folks are me. You guys are where I was. Where I was. I never had an opportunity to come and put pads on and show the college coaches how freaking good I was. But I have to listen to my parents or my family member and tell me how good I wasn't. Right? But I sure made sure that I was in school, getting my grade, getting my class, because guess what? If I take care of that, my talent on the football field will take care of itself. Yeah? Okay? So if you take anything out of this, and me talking with you folks today, that total good. They want to say anything yet, but if you guys take something out of it, knowing that I am with you, we are here to get that done, man. Get our grades done so every one of you here will be accepted into college and do what you really want to do. Put that ass. Appreciate the opportunity. I look forward to meeting every one of you guys. Yeah. Legend. Uh, went to the University of Utah. From St. Louis High School. Also coached here in Mililani. He's at Occidental College. Big hand for Darnell Arsenault. We got so many opportunities with all these college coaches being here. Okay? So the first thing we're gonna talk about, and you're probably gonna hear about it all week long. So you guys got an opportunity, you gotta take care of it in the classroom. That's where it's all gonna start. You're gonna hear it here, keep coming up. Don't wait for your senior year. Don't wait for your junior. Take care of it as a freshman, as a sophomore. Take care of it every day. It should be your goal. It should be your goal because one day. All this is going to be able to it's going to be taken away from you where you can't play football and you got to rely on something else, okay? You got to rely on your education, okay? The next thing I want to talk about, too, is when you're out here, hey, work on your weaknesses. Some of us are so scared of our weaknesses that you can't become a complete player. That's why you're out here. Ask these coaches that are out here. Work on your weaknesses. It's if it's your stance, your starts, your technique up front, whatever it may be, work on your weaknesses to be a complete football player, okay? Those are some of the things right there, real easy that you gotta do. And the biggest thing that you're gonna be able to obtain, all those two things I just talked about, is a big one that I think always goes into being a, a, a great football player, football player with characters. You gotta make sacrifices in your life. You gotta go home and do things for mom and dad to take a burden off of them. You gotta make sure you're sacrificing going out with your friends, drinking, doing drugs, all those little things where it won't allow you to be a complete student athlete of this wonderful game that we get opportunity to play. Okay? Sacrifice. I gotta take care of something. Don't wait for the last minute to do it. Don't wait for Friday to study for a test. Don't wait for money to do it. Don't wait for your mom or your dad to tell you to clean your room. Do it because you know it's the right thing to do because you wanna be the best student athlete that you guys can be. Take those things and apply them to your guys' game. You guys will be there. You guys will be up here coaching one day and saying the same things that I'm saying to pass it along to the local boy. You guys understand? So, so have a good week and kick their ass out there. Take a work each other, work each other to get better.
There's nothing wrong with competition. There's nothing wrong with competition. <laughs> Work each other, respect the process, and go get it. Good job, guys. The next speaker is uh, University of Oregon. But he, but he played, played, he watched college football for a long time. He's a great, great quarterback, quarterback at all American in Nebraska. Nebraska. Then he, he played, played six years in the National Football, football League. League. Coach. A couple of different colleges have spent with over the last five years as an offensive coordinator. Big hand for Scott Frost. How are we doing, Alex? Doing good. Awesome being out here with you. You guys are doing a great job of working. Are you having fun? Oh, yeah. Uh, to tell you a little bit about myself, um, I played quarterback at Nebraska, played a little bit in the NFL, I wasn't very good, and I managed to survive for a while. Uh, now, coach at the University of Oregon, we have a pretty special kid from my brother, playing for us right now. And, uh, thank, thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that. Um, tell you a quick story, I'm driving over here uh, with the Colorado coaches and the Colorado Your best. 
Right? When you're out on the football field and you're not worried about missing a tackle, you're not worried about missing a pass, when you're going to take a test in algebra, and you're not worried about what happens if I mess it up, if you just say, I'm going to dominate this thing, those kind of kids get grades on the test, those kind of kids make the passes, those kind of kids make the splash plays, impact plays, plays on the football field nobody else can make. If they're not playing scared, they're playing to attack. And that goes just along with our motto, win the day, man. Everything you do, don't be afraid to compete. Attack it as hard as you can. And don't be afraid to do better than the guy next to you. Because that's what life's all about. You guys are doing a great job out here, but I just want to encourage you to win the day every day. And you can start today. Be better when you leave here at the end of the day than wherever you came. Can we Can I get a go duck? Go oh, no. Ducks! Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me, man. Great job, fellas. Um, the next speaker, University of Cal Berkeley, coaching running backs. He also was at uh, Louisiana Tech, as well as Villanova. Big hand for Pierre Ingram. Woo! How are you guys doing? Uh, excited to be here. Uh, going on my first year recruiting the island. Um, I know a lot of coaches have hard for me a little bit with academics, um, but I'm going to take it a step further with the aspect of what you're going to do when you get that opportunity. We never really get to talk about when you get there to college. Uh, a lot of you guys are going into your senior year of high school. Uh, it's a little thing we call heart school. Uh, how competitive are you? You know, watching all the guys out here right now get the opportunity to compete. Who are you going against? When you get that chance, that one rep, that two, that second rep, are you going against the best competition out here? How much does it mean to you? How much do you care about it? Uh, all you guys want the opportunity to play in college. Right now, the most important thing is being a competitor and making sure you do the best for your high school team. Understanding that you are a central piece to a team. It's not just about yourself. You put in the work, you have the heart speed, we're going to see it. All the college coaches are here. We're here for a reason. There are a lot of good talent. There's a lot of good talent out here on the island. We're going to keep coming. You younger guys learn from the older guys. Older guys, you got really, well, my seniors out here, you got one last go around. We're going to be here. We're going to watch you. But the thing is, what we want to see as college coaches, there's a lot of talent all over the country. We want to see guys that have heart speed, guys that care about it, that want to be competitive, that want to be the best. Every chance they get a rep in one on one, we got receivers, DBs, linebackers here right now. They want to go against the best guy. You seek him out. I want to see you do that. And then when times get tough, we know that you're going to be there and be available. When you have a paper that's due on Thursday, and you just got back from, from a game, from traveling, you're going to get that paper done. When you have an injury, I know there's guys out here with hamstrings right now. You do your rehab, you do your treatment, because you care about it. Once again, heart speed. How much do you care about it? How much are you going to put in? How much emphasis are you going to put on your craft? And we'll all see that. It, it, it's the film never lies, and your heart speed never lies. Once again, I'm very appreciative of the opportunity to come out and recruit the island. I'll be here. Anything you guys need from me, please feel free to ask questions. Uh, easy flight over to the Bay Area. I know we've got some folks from Stanford. Uh, accessibility to us is always open. Anytime you, got, anytime you guys are in the Bay Area, please feel free to come over to the university and see us. Once again, thank you. All right, everybody. First thing I want you to do is I want you to give a big round of applause for Coach Miano and Miss Doris and their staff. I want you to do is give a bigger round of applause to your parents in the stands. Okay. That's your, that's part of your thank you to them, okay, for bringing you out today, for Coach Miano and his staff for putting this thing on, giving you guys the exposure that you want and you and you deserve, okay, for working so hard in the classroom and on the football field. Okay, now I know you guys have been talked to uh, once or twice and about a very similar thing, and I'm going to echo the sentiment, okay. Especially for a place like Stanford and a lot of these other schools here, <clears throat> academics are first. Okay, you guys see all these rivals and scout.com lists and all these top players in the country, right? When we sit down as a staff and look at those lists, you guys know what we do? We go, call, we go start calling about their transcripts first. We don't even watch their football film until we've seen a transcript. Okay, so what does that mean for you guys? Take care of that first, okay? The second you think, oh, well, I better go get another lift in before I go study for my test, think again, okay? Because we're not going to watch the tape, right? Until we see that you're you're a guy that can that can make it academically at our place, okay? And again, 
I said the, the round of applause for your parents was the first part of your thank you. Okay, that's the bigger chunk. That's your paycheck to them. All right, that you're working hard in the classroom and doing the things you need to do off the field, okay, both as a student and as a citizen, okay, to put yourself and set yourself on a trajectory to do as much as you can in life. Okay, does that make sense to you guys? Okay, so make sure you guys are taking care of that first and foremost. Okay, and I started off with that because you, you guys need to appreciate what these people around here do for you, okay? Coach Miano and his staff and these guys and your parents, okay? Just, just, just the sacrifices they make for you. Again, just want to reiterate, that's your paycheck to them. Make sure you guys are taking care of your business on and off the field. Okay, in terms of today, all right? Play your butt off, right? Work hard, stay safe, okay? Make sure you guys you guys are keeping each other safe, but, but, but also, Play your freaking butt off, all right? Play your butt off because we want to see it. We want to see it from you guys. Dude, you have a, you, you make a bad block, you slip, come back and, and do it better the next time, okay? It's all about how you respond, okay? It's all about the next play, all right? So come out here today, have some energy about you, okay? This uh, this this sun, it's not too hot today, all right? So you guys, you will we'll have a great one, okay? And like I said, work hard and have some fun. That inside right? leverage that you have. Here we go. On my command, we're going to just shuffle. Receivers give me a nice, easy shuffle. On my next command, we're going to stop. Here we go. Get my stance. Nice couple. Here we go. Hit. Under control. Not too much foot movement. Not too much foot movement. Hit. There you go. Hit. Working, 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 working. Where I like to control the square. Thank you.